Hello and welcome to Tag.io. In this video, we're going to be going over the MQTT Relay. The Tag.io MQTT Relay acts as a bridge between your MQTT broker and the Tag.io platform. It facilitates smooth integration and device data flow. By subscribing to predefined topics on your MQTT broker, the MQTT Relay ensures that incoming data is redirected to your Tag.io devices. Here are some of the benefits you get from using the MQTT Relay. Enjoy all of the functionalities a standard MQTT broker offers, benefit from a highly scalable solution that grows with your needs, and unlock new possibilities with the open source nature of the MQTT Relay. So now, let's start our tutorial. So the first thing we need is a MQTT broker. In this case, I've selected EMQX for this tutorial. So here I have my EMQX console open. I've created a free account and I've also deployed a serverless MQTT broker. If I click on my server, I can see the server information that I'll need to add to my MQTT relay config file. So let's keep that in hand. We'll also need to create our user here. So let's go to access control and then authentication. Let's click on add. I'm gonna create my username here and my password, confirm it. Then we have to go to authorization. I'm going to authorize a specific username. Add the username here and the permissions. So I'm gonna authorize a specific topic here, which will be device and hashtag. And I'm going to allow publishing and subscribing. So hit confirm. The next step is to download the MQTT relay itself. We can do that by heading over to the GitHub repository and downloading the most recent version. So here I have the repository. It's the inside of the Tagwayo account and the name of the repository is MQTT relay. So if we go here to releases, here we can download the release for our operating system. In my case, that would be Mac OS. So now let's extract it. In order to execute the Tagoyo relay, you will need to give it permission. To do so, click on the Tagoyo relay file and allow it to open. Then go to your settings app, privacy and security, scroll down, and here you'll have a message. You'll allow the application to open. With that done, we can now verify if it's working. So let's open the terminal. Go to where you've downloaded it. And write Tagoyo Relay Help. Great, it's installed. So now let's go over to our Tagoyo admin and create a network. So here I am in my Tagoyo admin. Let's go over and create a, that network. So go to Integrations, Network, Add a Network. I'm going to name mine MQTT Relay. Here we'll enable the serial number. We will generate a token. And we will also add the payload parser, which is necessary. Having done that, we can save. We can then go to integrations and create a connector. I'll name it MQTT Relay as well and it will use the MQTT relay network that we've just created. We can hit save. Now we can go over to devices, authorization, and create an authorization. I'm going to name it MQTT relay. Generate. Now we can go back to our terminal and create our config file. So let's now write Tago Relay in it. We can now navigate to this file. I'm going to copy the path here. And I'm going to edit it in Visual Studio Code. 
So now all we have to do is add our information. So let's get our network token and integrations network tokens copy. Our authorization token. This must be true. Our address from our EM EMQX. The port, which is 8883, change to the topic that we've selected before, and my username and password, which will be used to authenticate. Now let's save this. Now let's go over to our code here. CD down, go to download. And hit Togayo Relay Start. So we successfully connected to the MQTT broker. We can test this out by going over to our admin. Let's create a device that uses our MQTT Relay. And Let's use the serial number 12312323. Let's create the device. Continue. All right, so I have the device here. Now let's go over to the EMQX console and go to online test. Let's add our username here and connect. Down here, we can go and add our topic, which is device, and then the the serial number of the device, which is one two three one two three one two three, and publish. So I've now sent the data. Let's see if our yes, the relay has received the data, and it should have sent it to the device. And here's the data in the device. And to learn more, visit tago.io.